Now let's decide when should we use kilojoule, when should we use kilojoule per mole for calorie meter. Okay, let's look at combustion. Okay, for example, one mole of A is combusted in excess oxygen. So to write the thermochemical equation, we only use kilo joule because we understood that A is already one mole of substance. Now, next one we go to calculation. Okay, for example, the equation is given and asks you to calculate the enthalpy of combustion. Okay, so therefore, it asks you to calculate the enthalpy of combustion. So your final answer must be kilojoule per mole because it is specifically referring to combustion. Okay, for example, another one, given the equation becomes two mole, it's no longer one mole. Thus, our answer is only kilojoule because it's not referring to one mole so we cannot write kilojoule per mole because not referring to one mole of substance okay however the example number one we can use kilojoule per mole because of the specific and tau P, another one is referring to one mole. Okay, now next one. Calculate the enthalpy of combustion. Okay, so this one is already specifically say calculate the enthalpy of combustion. Therefore, our final answer will be negative. Let's say x kilojoule per mole. Okay, because it already specified its enthalpy of combustion. Okay, next one. Write the thermochemical equation for the enthalpy combustion of magnesium. Okay, if in this case, then we need to write magnesium plus oxygen. Then we'll get magnesium oxide. Okay, and remember, magnesium must be only one mole. Okay, because according to the definition. Okay, now the most important part is to write the for thermochemical equation, we must show the enthalpy. Okay, so as we know, it is negative x, but this is the thermochemical equation, so we just use kilo joule. Okay, for calculation, we can use per mole. Okay, now next one. Okay, calculate the heat change for neutralization. When we see the word neutralization, it's the same thing. We know it is negative. Let's say Y kilojoule per mole because we are referring to one mole of water form. This is for calculation. If you want to write the thermochemical equation then you add at the end of the equation thermochemical equation equals to negative y kilo joule only okay this is for neutralization now another kind of question okay this is easy calculate the heat given off in kilo joule per mole okay so this is easy you just write enthalpy h equals to the answer will be kilojoule per mole. And it says given off. So if given off, let's say negative, must be negative x kilojoule per mole. Okay, this one we have no problem. It's clear cut. Okay, next one. Calculate the amount of heat release, okay, which is carried out in an aluminium calorimeter, okay, and with water together. Okay, this question is already in your notes as well. So I just want to emphasize what is the answer. Okay, 
the amount of heat released, it is not saying that this is a combustion or this is a neutralization or atomization. It just say the heat release only, not referring to one mole. So at this time, you can just label heat release equals to how many kilo joule. Okay? So the answer is kilo joule only, not per mole, because all this information is not referring to one mole. So again, to use kilojoule or kilojoule per mole, you have to decide, is it a thermochemical equation? Is it a calculation which refer to only one mole? Or is it a term? Is it a calculation based on the equation which is not one mole? Okay, so that's all for this part.